13 million and you drive this cross country to pick me up? Hi. Hi. Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with a new project, and we're taking the theme of gaming to the casino with Rusty's Ford Falcon Futura from Ocean's Eleven. Now, unfortunately, the only time one of these was available was as an original promo in 63, and those have gotten way too pricey to do a project like this. Fortunately, found this one, a little beat up, a lot dirty, but should work just fine for what I need. So, taking a look at what I've got here. Biggest problem, as you can see, is the windshield frame and glass is completely gone. The chrome is there, but pretty well beat up. Missing a chunk out of the corner of the rear body right there. Missing the rear bumper. The sides are pretty straight, at least. The interior's looking kind of nasty, though. Got a busted steering wheel there. So that's going to require some work. I did think it was kind of cool how they did this on the old promos and made call-outs to all of the new features that were available on that car that year. So now if you've never taken one of these apart, they're generally held together with four of these slotted screws, but the threading on them is a little bit strange. It's really more of a knurl than the threads that we see on most screws. It makes it a lot quicker to put together, but to take it apart, you almost have to push in as you're unscrewing it to make sure that the head stays seated. So, that right there is what they look like. And not uncommon, it's got a little bit of rust on it. You'll often see that with promos of this age. And the other thing that can happen, which feels like it's happening here, is the thread will kind of strip out the inside of the plastic so it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, that one's stuck. All right. No problem. Just pull it out this way. And same thing, just a good grip on it, counterclockwise and pull. Yeah, that's a little bit cleaner. So you see the shape of the threads there. Let's right. nice see how these ones do. That one feels pretty good. And that one feels pretty good too. Yeah, just one troublemaker this time. So I can just pull the chassis straight out. There's that with the axles and wheels on it. The grill and bumpers are usually just held on by the screw posts, so that'll pop right off. So next, the interior is held in by a few posts. The front two here are just heat swedged. Get the flat screwdriver under those and pop those free. And in the back here, it's got smaller tabs going through from the convertible top. So for that, I'm going to come up here and then pop it free from the top side. And now the interior is free. So to take out the dashboard, now usually you can just pop these tabs free, but it looks like they've got some paint or adhesive in there, so I might need to do a little bit of extra work on that. Not sure yet. And then the last thing on the body is the chrome pieces, which those are all separate, and same thing, just get on the inside. And pop them out, just like that. Just a little bit of pressure with the tip or the corner of the screwdriver. It's usually plenty to get them out.
And my last disassembly is going to be to take the wheels off. The axles on these are usually just straight parallel knurls, so get something between the wheel and the frame, and that slides right off. Let's see what that looks like. Do the same to the front. A little bit of rust on that axle, but otherwise, not a problem. So, that's what you're left with. Alright, got the body all cleaned up, and it actually looks not too bad. Other than the obviously broken things, and I forgot to take the taillights out, I think that'll be no problem at all to bring back to something decent looking. Chassis cleaned up pretty good as well. I do still have some rust spots inside. I'm not going to worry about those, though. You can say just as they are. Uh, the interior was a bit of a problem. It cleans up, looks a million times better, but uh, they really went all out on gluing that dashboard in, so it ended up tearing out a chunk of the bucket right there as I was trying to remove it. Uh, actually chipped out a bigger section than that, but I was able to very carefully kind of squeeze it back together, and I think it'll look just fine when the dashboard's in. So my next step is going to be doing the repairs to this, and for that, I'm going to be using the recently reissued 61 Falcon Ranchero kit from AMT. A bunch of the parts are going to be shared between these two, so I'll be able to take stuff like the rear bumper, uh, the steering wheel, I'll be able to cut the windshield frame and use the glass from the Ranchero. Plus the Ranchero has the correct dogdish hubcaps in it. So uh, That's it for this week. Got it all taken apart. And next week I'll see you about putting it back together. So you can check back then. And thanks for watching.